industry as a whole and for individual permittees to get their hands around these issues. And as a result, permitting's been very frustrated and very, very complicated. And I think everybody in the room understands that the future of the mining industry in West Virginia is dependent on the ability to obtain permits. Um, so having said that, I think I speak for the entire industry when I say that any, any dialogue that helps clarify these issues is welcome and probably long overdue. <laughs> And that we hope that, uh, uh, especially the individual company meetings, will help clarify some of these issues. Uh, let me also say, from a programmatic standpoint, that the association looks forward to working with the agencies to develop guidance and programmatic uh, guidelines moving forward that helps clarify these issues within the confines of individual statutory regulatory authorities and with respect to the sanctity and the lines of division between the programs. Uh, one of the concerns that we've had for a long time is what I'll call crossover. Federal agencies implementing and interpreting state programs or use mitigation as an example, state programs implementing or interpreting federal programs. Uh, so that's, that's one of our areas of concern. Hopefully this, this renewed or this new dialogue will help resolve some of that. Um, this is obviously not the last word we've heard on these issues and we learn more as an industry, as the individual companies meet with the agencies this month and every other month, that we'll have a clearer uh, understanding of where everything's going and how to get programmatic guidance so we can get some semblance of permitting stability back in the process. I know, for example, that, that we'll talk about these issues in, in depth and in detail at our mining symposium next month. Uh, also, just another word about uh, programmatic process. Tom mentioned the Kentucky AOC fuel minimization policy. One of our other frustrations as an industry in all of this has been a lack of acknowledgement of the progress that was made in the mining industry over the last 12, 15 years within West Virginia. Uh, things like AOC, fuel minimization, and uh, other pro state programs that we don't think EPA and the other federal agencies were given due respect to. So having said all that, uh, to the industry and to our members, bear with us. This is going to be obviously a, a painful and slow process. But hopefully the begin this dialogue that's, that's beginning with the agencies will help inject some stability and, and predictability back into the process. Thanks.